Now on the other side of this, we have our fat loss. And so this is gonna be the other side of the energy balance equation where we're trying to have an energy deficit, which means that the energy coming in needs to be less than the energy going out. And now people that struggle to lose weight almost always fit into this category of they overestimate how much they move and they underestimate how much they eat. And this is because people are generally very bad at subjectively reporting how much they eat and how much they move. And now that's a common human thing, so you know, don't beat yourself up over it, but it does mean you need to establish some objective metrics to be able to track and understand your numbers. Because at the end of the day, it is simple to lose weight. It's just not easy. Think about it this way. If you have a dog or a cat and they're overweight, how do you get them to lose weight? Well, you take them for walks and you feed them less. And we all get that intuitively, but we're much less likely to do that when it comes to ourselves or with people because the emotions get in the way. Now, a big part of this can be understanding why you eat in the ways you do per se. And so let's say if you're snacking or craving foods or eating a bunch of junk food or eating mindlessly, understanding the stress or the triggers behind that that make it more likely for you to overeat. But the other part of that is making better decisions with what food you bring into the house or you choose. So instead of going to the vending machine or eating out all the time, bring your own food or learn to deal with some of the hunger and detach the emotion away from the eating. The other thing to keep in mind here is that weight loss is not something that everybody needs to do. And just because you have five or 10 extra pounds of body fat on you does not mean you need to stop what you're doing and start focusing on weight loss and shredding and leaning out. Especially if you're growing and you're developing as a young adult, you do not need to get focused on being lean and seeing all your veins. That is not a healthy place to be. Orthorexia is the over focus on being healthy and that is a very unhealthy disease. So just because someone else on Instagram or social media looks a certain way does not mean that it's best or healthy. Even the people you see on bodybuilding magazines and that are super shredded and ripped and have all these veins, there's a whole amount of photoshopping and illusion that goes into that. And most of the people that get up and do pictures and photo shoots are very unhealthy. When people step on those bodybuilding competition stages, they're very close to death because they're dehydrated and malnourished. So understand that just because someone looks super ripped and lean does not mean they're healthy or functional or capable. So take that context and understand that you only need to focus on losing weight if it's something that's impeding your life. If you have more than 20 or 30 pounds of body fat to lose, then it's time to start thinking about creating a calorie deficit. Now this doesn't mean that if you're not necessarily happy with the way your body looks and feels that you shouldn't already be thinking about cleaning up and making better decisions with your food, but it does mean that the next step of creating a calorie deficit and starting to limit and create structures and diets around what you're eating, that only applies when you really need to get serious about weight loss. The problem is that most people don't really try to start losing weight seriously and they don't take it seriously so they end up failing diet after diet because they're not actually really committed to it. But when it comes down to it, it's a simple idea of keeping a calorie deficit. Now there's a bunch of ways you can make this easy, but the simple start is to create a plan for your numbers. Again, the same thing applies that you need to eat a little bit more when you're training to compensate so you're not getting too much of a deficit, but you do need to maintain a consistent deficit. If you get too much of a deficit, your body will start to fight you. You will lower metabolism, you will be in a place where you're catabolic and you're breaking things down, so your body's not gonna have as much energy. So you cannot outwork a bad diet. You can't burn off a bunch of calories and think that's gonna outdo any decisions with your eating. You have to simply make these small consistent changes that allow your body to slowly let go of body fat over time, but that don't overwhelm your systems and cause your body to fight back and resist you and make it even harder. It is not an easy process, but it is simple. The thing that makes it harder is when you decide to go all in and cut out a thousand calories a day and you're gonna be super down to nothing and you're gonna starve yourself all the way to that point, it does not work and it will, you will fail and your body will rebound and you'll gain more weight because your body does not want to lose weight. Understand that when you're talking about weight loss, that is your body's safety measure. When you have body fat on your system, that is what your body uses as an insurance policy in case there is no more food because that is what your body will use for fuel. The most important thing when it comes to losing weight is understanding that it is a mental game. It is tough, it is a long-term game, and you have to be focused and in it for the long term to be able to see any results. If you're in it for the short term, you're trying to make a crash diet to look better for the beach in three weeks, you are not gonna see the results you want. But focus on eating, making better choices, adding in movement to your day, and learning to accept and appreciate yourself at every step of the way, and you'll get there, I promise you.